So this is it, the final battle of the final video of the actual game. Yay! That's far enough, Nefarious. Step away from the transport. You! How is this possible? You should be dead! On behalf of Galactic Authorities, we hereby charge you with willful disruption of the space-time continuum. Shut down the transport and surrender quietly. Look at you. Free for the first time in years, inches from your destiny, and what do you do? Run right back to playing backpack to us, Squishy. You're nothing but a pathetic sidekick. We should hang out sometime. That's it. No one talks to Clank that way. When this is over, I'll back whatever decision you make. But first, how about one final hurrah so we can kick this guy's butt? When I'm finished killing you, I think I'll rewind time. So I can do it again. And again. And again. <laughs> A long time for this! Lawrence, fall back to the outer perimeter! Let no damage befall our ship! Falling back, sir. Happy fighting. Alright, so the battle against Dr. Nefarious. Really flow, sl flow, really slow first half. And then you'll see how long the second half lasts in comparison. I hate the second half. The first half, at first you're confined to this small strip of space station, and he just floats out over the void, and really hard to hit because he's so far away, especially with short range weapons. It's possible to hit him with short range weapons, but it's not a good idea. Like, here I'm trying to hit him with the bombs. It's not impossible. It's just really, really hard. See, look, I hit him once out of, like, five throws. He likes to shoot little lasers at you, and he also fires purple lasers at you, which do an area attack. They're kind of easy to avoid, so naturally I get hit by them all the time. In response, you are burping at him. Yes. It's always best to really stick with the lower weapons for this first half of the fight. And he does the thriller. Oh, yes. Don't you? <laughs> Some hero, you turned out to be. And then the Groovatron bomb falls into the void. Oh yeah, he also likes to taunt you throughout the entire thing. It's a nice touch, but none of it's really funny, so I'm not making a second version where you can hear it all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time to leave. In addition to the normal fight, every time you take out a quarter of his health, this happens. You have to outrun the laser beam, and I'm really bad at that. I hate this part. Yeah, this part's kind of bad and bullshit, especially since I'm out of practice. But on the bright side, they give you health crates, and the lasers that trail behind you do break them, so you just get them no matter what. Oh, and yeah, they do eventually stop, so don't run right into the fireball like I almost did. It'll take more than that to stop me. In the second quarter of this part of the fight, he'll summon little minions to come and try and take care of you. They're not a big deal, but they're mostly there for you to waste ammo and not concentrate on Dr. Nefarious as he tries to hit you with lasers. Oh, and he also does this now. It's a Unibeam. Best Unibeam.
when you summon the UFOs, you know you're almost done the second quarter of the first half. And you may notice that I'm trying to stay away from the buzz blades for a very important reason. Oh, and I, wa I waste Fred here. Because he only gets the smack. Well, maybe not. No, that was a different fight. Never mind. So is it just me, or does this spaceship look like it's... It has a constant look like it's just stubbed its toe. <laughs> like, uh, Ow! God damn it! How did this even happen? I don't have any extremities. This is the end of the first half. It's just doing the same thing again. You have to outrun the giant laser beam that's trailing behind you. you jump over Dr. Nefarious's electric bars as he throws them down. And then, Lauren starts destroying the track in front of you. You have to jump from platform to platform. This messed me up so many times. Uh, yeah. And the worst part about it is if you screw up here, you have to fight him. You have to start all over again from the beginning of the chase part, I think. I hate this boss fight, basically. No, I really like this boss fight. It's just really rough the first time through. And oh, oh, oh no! Ah, ah, no, I can save it! Oh, oh. Did you... Did you not edit this? I, I hit the side, and then it, uh... Yeah. No, I edited it. I just thought it was hilarious enough to keep it. Whatever. Alright, here we are. And here's the second half. Now, you said this was the half you hated. Watch me trivialize the shit out of it, okay? Hit him with the chimpinator. Well, you actually can. I think you can turn the bosses into a chimp. It just takes a really, really fucking long time. So do it! No! Alright, so... What you do is you throw out Fred. You throw out the Groovatron. And then you do blade the shit out of him, and he's a bitch. Yeah, look how fast I've already knocked out most of his health. He doesn't have any new gimmicks that I can talk about because I kill him too fast. And we're done. That's the final boss. you out of this, can I? Ratchet, we have been on many adventures, but the clock needs someone to protect it. It is what I was built for. Wait, so that's it? What about the Lombaxes? They're not in danger, they've just moved on. And we'll find them. But the past stays where it is. Come on, pal. I'll walk you in. You were never a sidekick. You do know that, right? I always thought that you were the sidekick. <laughs> Where are you going? This is your responsibility. You can't just walk away. The Lombaxes need us! Don't 
Walk away from me! I said stop! So yeah, okay, this is for real the final boss of the game. I'm not lying this time. Azimuth is actually kind of easier than Nefarious was, simply because Nefarious was floating around in the sky a lot and he was always far away from you. Azimuth likes to mix up being really far away from you and being right up in your face. Interesting note is that apparently an azimuth is a unit of measurement in a degree and I forget the rest. <laughs> but it's like some sort of a space measurement. And he's a, an azimuth is, a, a, is an angle or a degree in it. Okay. Point being, it's a space reference. I did not know that. I don't know what Alistair is. Warning. <laughs> 
his dance is the moonwalk. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll give him that. Not as good as the thriller dance, though. Various has the best dance. Oh, that one Orgonian was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Orgonian? Orgonian? Worf. Why are you fighting? So, yeah, when he does this little thing that where he goes around the outside edge, if you just throw a Groovetron near the edge, he'll just stop right in his track so you can just murder him some more. And this is the part where I waste a Fred shot because, uh, like most of the other bosses in this game, he switches things up when he gets halfway dead. So I throw Fred down like right as he's about to hit halfway health, and as a result, Fred only gets one smack in. This has to be done. It's Azimuth, you're being unreasonable here. I know. Quantum tunnels initiated. You hear that? In a few moments, we will be able to prevent the greatest injustice in Lombax's history. I can't let you do this! You don't have a choice! So you're just gonna kill me? Kill you now, save you in the past! Alright, so the second half of Alistair... He has a few stronger attacks and he likes to switch it up. It's very visibly different from the first half of the fight. Look around you, Alistair. But I wouldn't say it's any harder. Like I said, Alistair is probably easier than Nefarious in the long run. Alistair, the room's kind of exploding. That's not really the best sign. No. Oh, and he also likes to rush right at you, and I wasted the Groovatron trying to stop him. I like this song. Yeah, it's not very nice. <laughs> He's talking about the tragic backstory of the Wombaxes while moonwalking, and I'm shooting him in the face with a sniper rifle. Do we ever, at any point, let him know that, hey, there is actually another Lombax besides us running around doing things? Nope, because the universe has seemed to have forgotten about Angela. Father isn't alive to see you like this. A coward, traitor. He would have been so ashamed. And I actually know her name, because I've recently just finished that game. And you waste for it again. Uh, he eventually gets his way back over here. But yeah, I've got this in the bag. I've got 67 health left. He's almost dead. Worst comes to worst, I can always Rhino him. But I don't, because Rhino is cheating. I love how every time I shoot him with the magnet launcher, I interrupt whatever crazy thing he's saying. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think he said this is a pretty good set piece for the final battle. It is. And the game ends like how it should have began. With Mr. Zorgon getting the final shot.
sir. He did a brave thing, Ratchet. You should be proud of him. Well, looks like there's just one more thing to fix. Timekeeper restored. I'll leave you two alone. Take care of yourself, pal. I cannot stay. I am sorry, but discovering my family has made me realize that I cannot leave Ratchet. Not until he finds his own. I hope you understand. You're leaving? Energy output normal. Harmonic stabilizers stable. Why aren't I freaking out? Perhaps you are ready to be promoted. Senior? Caretaker? Yahoo! Thank you, sir. Take care, Sigmund. The clock, much like time itself, is a gift and not to be tampered with. But like any father, my only wish is that my son does that which makes him feel whole. You are an intelligent and logical being, Clank. But intelligence and logic would have been wasted gifts without honor and loyalty. I am proud to see you came into those on your own. So, should the clock be too small for your plans, I pray the cosmos light the way towards a future you yourself design. And remember, the universe has a wonderful sense of humor. The trick is learning how to take a joke. <laughs> And that was Ratchet and Clank Future, a crack in time. Yeah! Best Ratchet and Clank ever. Yeah! Remember how I've been telling you that Grandpa Robots are gone forever? Yeah! I'm a liar. Those are credits! You fell asleep during the game again. <gasps> Kiriminy, you're right! Quick, hit the rewind button! Now, Clark, these folks worked hard on this game, so you just you just sit there and appreciate them. Easy for you to say. You still have some semblance of bladder control. Sheesh! A lot of folks worked on this one, huh? In my day, we did it all with three robots, a spiral notebook, and some wire. Yeah? Well, in my day, we didn't have wire. We used yarn. And our controllers didn't have any of this shoulder button stuff. No, we had two buttons. Two buttons? <laughs> I did it with one button and a joystick. Yes, sir. And if the game broke, 
We couldn't do nothing but blow the dust off and try again. All right, all right. Just, just, well, what's the darn credits? Fine. But after that, it's on to challenge mode. All right, so I want to thank everybody in Thread who actually sat down and watched all of these. Again, I would like to ask seriously why. Is there not anything better you could be doing with your time? That That's the only things I have, because there was not really any specific person I can think of that provided any great information, unlike last time. That's not true. Thank you, Bob and Threadbear, for teaching me Avicent, and thank you for whoever brought up the fact that the stereo was reversed in the videos. There's still two videos left. It's post-game content. I would like to thank whoever first came up with alcohol. Because <laughs> seriously, that shit's great. I wouldn't know. Alright, and... We're, we'll see you for the post-game stuff. I'm not sitting through the rest of these. It's just credits. Fuck you. I'm Kip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbanks. Planets everywhere rejoiced this morning to find that the strange time phenomenon plaguing the universe had miraculously disappeared. Experts are still theorizing about what could have caused the disturbance, but have reduced the threat level from sunset red to a soothing azure blue. Thanks, Kip. In other news... A giant space station thought to be the lair of the fiendish Dr. Nefarious exploded last night, leaving the Vollards with a ton of salvage work to do. Galactic authorities have yet to recover the remains of Dr. Nefarious or his partner Lawrence. The Polaris Defense Initiative has been mobilized.
Hello? Celebrity in need of assistance. What's that, Snowball? Little Jimmy fell down a well? Oh, you're hungry for blood. Oh, I was way off. Let me just... Oh, boy, this is bad. Uh, little help here. Ratchet, Clank, Helga, anyone? Nice Snowball. No, Snowball. Down, Snowball! Hey, 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 easy on the goods. <laughs>